Hey guys, I received new packages today on the mail and I want to show you what I ordered um, online which is much cheaper than buying it down here where I live. So that's why I went and ordered this. So this is the first package. I already opened them because I was too excited about it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I should have opened it uh, with the camera but I just went, I was too excited about receiving this so. Let me start showing you this one first. And, uh, okay. I got two more Distress Ink from Team Holt. And this one will be Wild Honey. And this one is Victorian Velvet, which is kind of a pink color. I don't know, it's really nice can't wait to try this one out um, but I got two more which makes it very 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 fun um, then the second package which is this one over here I opened it too but it's okay uh, I receive a note from the company I I ordered this I ordered this uh, online yes this is the receipt and uh, it's way much cheaper uh, to order this online than buying it here, and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna take this up, and have a look on what I got. I got uh, one of the Team Holt collection stamps, and this is Stamper Anonymous, and this is awesome. These ones are the clear ones. He has rubber stamps, which I, in my opinion, I've been trying to learn how to work with because this is the first time I have a, a, a like a couple of clear stamps, but I don't know. I don't. I'm not too happy with with clear stamps because I'm trying, or either I don't know how to work with them, or I, I, I don't know if there's a special technique on this or whatever. But the thing is that only this. Let's say if you want this one or a different set like this with a different deem they run about $14.99 that's $14.99 guys that's like super way high for the for the stamps now I ordered this off from eBay and only this one was only for I'm gonna tell you right now I got the receipt up here it was $4.95 with chicken and handling included so there's a huge difference on price right there. I don't even, I don't even with a 50% coupon I can get the price as I, if I can get it online, you know. So my recommendation is that if you go to the store, be sure that you're not gonna get rip off. Just you know, try to get stuff from eBay or online. It's much much cheaper. So with this. I'm very happy because these were cheap too. This 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 came for like two fifty each, and just one of these at the store where I go is four ninety nine. So I with two, you know I just bought like two, and it's almost two of these came out the price of one if I would have gone to the store here. So. I I'm loving Tim Holtz stuff. I told you that I was soon gonna get a couple of new inks, so I did, cause I really really like the effects that this inks give to my work. Well, being said that, I want to show you something that I was working on. I haven't finished it yet, but I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of my little new creation on polymer clay. He is a steampunk little guy. <laughs> I call him a steampunk little guy. But as I haven't finished. I mean, he has like the thing going around his head, which I'm gonna decor with acrylics, as well as his little pants. I might do some little pockets or something. But he's steampunk, all right, and he's cute. So. As soon as I finished, you know, doing some of the acrylics and some of the... He stands up, though. 
but since the view of the camera is from on top, I can't show you from the bottom. But oops. But he he's really cute, and I hope you like him. But this is something I worked last night on, and I'm gonna keep on working today for more polymer clay. Fun little guys. I hope you like him though. Well, with that and Team Halt, see if I can put this little guy here, right? Um, I hope you like my little video and uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.